I'm back here. This is uh, going to be a sawmill video. I actually uh, ran out of wood while I was doing my shed build. Right now I got this uh, log squared up. I'm going to make 2 by 4s out of it. Because uh, that's kind of what I ran out of. It's, uh, it's a huge mess right now, but uh, it'll be cleaned here before too long. Let's do a quick uh, video. So we'll follow my neck and maybe see if I can get this thing sit right. There we go. The driveway is not completely level. Most driveways aren't level. Uh, they're graded so that your so that your water drains off your driveway, which is the case here. And I haven't got a leveling system on my uh, sawmill yet, so it likes to travel. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a three and a quarter cut uh, and basically make a, a slab to make two by fours out of. So that's about an eight and a half inch thick log at this point. I'm going to go a three and a quarter inches down and I'm going to do that twice. So I'll have two slabs uh, to make two by fours out of. Um, I'll show you how it works out. It's kind of cool. <coughs> to show you what I'm doing here uh, the way he has it set up right is this is your your depth and you got your different I'm not quite sure how to read this yet this is a this is a timber scale now I'm gonna do a modification to what he's got here he's got this thing permanently stuck on to this to measure with uh, this line right here that's where I'm at but what I'm gonna do is get a magnetic ruler so I can zero out my top cut and then go off of that. Right now, like I have to find out where the blade is and then kind of do the math. But if uh, if I get to zero it out, right, then I won't have to do any math. I'll just have to do, uh, if I want three and a quarter, I just measure three and a quarter on my depth right there from zero and that'll give me my three and a quarter cut. Uh, right now I haven't had a chance to go and buy the ruler I need, but it's on the list of things to do. Maybe I'll do that this afternoon. I'll give you a little bit different angle here. If I had it zeroed out at this point, I could go ahead and raise my blade and then I'd know exactly where I left off at. But right now, if I raise my blade, uh, I'm going to have to refine where I was. It looks like the trash is here, so um, and I'm running out of battery again. 
but I'll uh, stop here and then when I get ready to cut the 2x4s you can see this is the 2x4 basically before it gets cut into individual boards pretty nice cut huh so that's uh that's one slab I gotta make one more and then we'll cut some boards I went ahead and uh, grab the charger so you'll be able to record a time lapse here fast video so what I gotta do real quick is adjust my log clamps so that I can make the next cut and then once that cuts done um, we'll make two by fours put you right there Happen. It's not a big deal. It's actually a good thing to show you guys. Um, on this, there's a blade protector, and I thought I had it adjusted so that I would have missed it, but um, I was a quarter of an inch off. So that's that right there. See how that blue thing butts up against that? That'll keep your blade from hitting your log clamps. So I'm going to have to see if I can lower that a little bit more to finish this cut. Uh, everything's fine, but that's what they're there for. And I got to fix it. Check this out. These uh, these trees are uh, mountain pine beetle kill uh, trees, so they're dead. They've been dead for a couple years. Um, and this one, uh, I cut down close to a public road in the Forest Service, and it's funny because right yonder, that's a bullet. Now. Uh, that doesn't hurt the blade any. That stuff is bullets. If you know anything about bullets, they're lead and copper. Um, really soft. That's a carbide tip saw blade. 
You know, obviously it's not the best thing for it, but it's not going to hurt it. But now we got uh, now we got two raw slabs for our two by fours. So I'll go ahead and get this clamped in, and then we'll make start making boards. go to two by fours right there one with the bullet hole now this one <coughs> this one's a sixteenth of an inch off and that's that's uh, probably because there's something on the track that's what I was looking at I was trying to figure out why the heck I'm a sixteenth of an inch off on one but the other one is just right so um, it's not a big deal. Anyway, two two by fours, just like that. Now it's just uh, rinse and repeat, so I'll stop the video there and keep cutting boards.